Today I'm going to be talking about the theory of interest rate parity. And at the end of this video, I'll do a quick bonus which shows you a real world example of how this actually works in practice. Interest rate parity simply states that the difference in the national interest rates between two occurrences should be equal to but opposite in sign to the forward rate discount or premium for the foreign currency. Okay, so what does that mean? Let's assume, for example, just visually, you've got the US yield curve that looks like this in the orange and the Japanese yield curve that looks like this in the blue. So these, these are short duration or short maturity securities. So this goes all the way out to 180 days, 90 days, zero days. So you can see that at 90 days, there's about a 2.4% spread between what you can earn in the US, you know, 90 day T-bill versus a 90 day uh, rate in Japan. So, you know, 4.4 versus 2.2%. 2, uh, 2%. So on the surface, it looks like it's it's better to invest in the U.S. However, what you'll find is that the forward, the Japanese yen will be trading at a forward premium such that this 2.4% will completely go away when you compare the two returns that you can get between these two currencies. Let me do this more formally, you know, or mathematically, I guess, show you the equation and then I'll run through a problem how this works. So the forward rate should equal, equal this. The forward rate should simply equal the spot rate times 1 plus the interest rate on the foreign currency divided by 1 plus the interest rate on the domestic currency. This assumes we're quoting it in yen per dollars. If I were quoting it in terms of dollars per yen or dollars per pound or dollars per euro as those are often quoted, then the 1 plus ID would be on the numerator and the 1 plus IF would be in the den denominator. So this is when we're quoting in terms of a foreign currency per $1. This is the equation. Now, uh, so let's check this out. Let's assume that the current spot rate is 114 yen per dollar. And let's assume that the one-year rate in Japan is 1% and the one-year rate in the US is 2%. So just like the prior slide, there is a spread here. The U.S. is trading higher than Japan in the in the um, interest rate market, higher interest rates. So this tells me that the that Japan, their currency should be trading at a premium in the forward market. So we can calculate or estimate what that forward rate should be. That's going to equal the spot rate, which is 114 times 1.01, which is the Japanese rate, divided by 1.02, which is the U.S. rate. Calculate that. It's 112. 0.88 yen per dollar. The yen here is trading at a premium relative to the spot market. 112 is a, is a stronger rate than 114 is from the Japanese perspective because it takes fewer yen to buy dollars. So, so the yen is trading at a premium in the forward market and it is just enough to offset the interest rate differential. So how does this work? Like what does this even matter? Well, let's assume you've got a couple of options here. Let's do scenario one. Scenario one, you have a million yen and you want to invest it at 1.01% or 1% in Japan, you earn that 1,010,000 yen, 1,010,000 yen. So you earn 10,000 yen on this investment. Now, the other scenario is you could have converted yen into dollars at the current spot rate of 114, and you could have received 8,772. And then what you do is you invest that at 2%. So you could, scenario two, you invest it at 2% and that grows to $8,947. Now you will know to do this today that it's going to grow to 8947. So today you're going to sell 8947 forward. You're going to sell these dollars forward at the forward rate. All right. And that will happen a year from now. That execution, that settlement will happen a year from now, but you agree on that rate today. So you can lock this in. And so what you're going to do is you're going to lock in this rate. A year from today, you're going to sell those $8,947 back into yen at the 112.88 rate that you locked in today. That was the forward rate. And you're going to have now 1,010,000 yen. So again, you're going to earn 10,000. So no matter what you do, these interest rates are aligned as long as you use the forward market to, to hedge yourself. So you earn the same amount of money. Interest rate parity. No matter if we invest in yen at 1% or in the U.S. at 2% and hedge back into yen, we earn the same amount of interest. We have interest rate parity. Now, let's check out 
uh, a real world example here. So this is something that I pulled down on February 8th, 2022. These are dollars per euro. So this is a different currency. So these are dollars. So now we're quoting in dollar terms, not not in uh, euro terms, but in dollar terms. And I also pulled up that the three month Euribor rate was minus 58 basis points, quantitative easing. Uh, negative rent interest rates in the U.S. LIBOR rate at this time was 36 basis points. So what is that spread? What's that differential? So I'm just going to go down here and just type that in. That's just going to equal this number minus this number. And so that's a spread of 94 basis points that the U.S. is trading uh, better than, than the euro in terms of interest rates. So that tells me that the euro should then trade at a premium in the forward market because they're losing on the interest rate differential they're going to make it back on the uh, in the premium on the forward market for the currency so the other thing is though is that this is a these are annualized rates so three month even though they're three month libor rates they're quoted in annual terms so if i want to make that into a three month term what i would do is just take this spread and i divide it by 4 and that's the real, that's the interest rate differential over a three month time period. Now what I can do is calculate that premium here and, and to see if this holds. So what I want to do is I want to go out here to three months and three, the three month rate, and we'll use the midpoint, the bid ask spread. And you can see it's at 11447. That is a higher number than 1142. So because we're quoting this in American terms, it's dollars per euro. The euro is trading at a premium, and that premium is simply going to equal this number divided by this number minus 1. Look at that. It's 24 basis points. Okay. Now, if I want to annualize that number, I can multiply it by 4, and... 95. So we're within one basis point here on an annual term. But all I'm showing you here is that we do have interest rate parity. The interest rate differential over um, annualized interest rate differential for three months is 94 basis points. That is completely reflected in the forward premium of the euro, which is 95 basis points. Maybe you could arbitrage that away. Probably bid ask spreads and whatnot will not allow you to do that. And uh, everything is tight. Okay. So hopefully this makes sense and uh, clarifies what we mean by interest rate parity. Thank you for, turning, for tuning in. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to my channel because on this channel, I make lots of videos so that we can make finance fun for students. Thank you.